up an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing video. So this is for September 2022. And we'll go ahead and dive on into this bad boy. Uh, first things first, we got the bag, which, okay, not bad. It says you got this in hollow on the front, which I say this all the time. So honestly, this might need to be my new dog walking bag. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to find a card right now. And I'm not sure. There it is. Do we not get a card? Oh, we do get a card. I'm honestly would be perfectly fine with not getting a card because we don't really need a card. We can save trees because we don't need this because this isn't useful anymore. Anyways, hot takes with Amanda. Let's see what the card says. It says, you got this. Sometimes you just need a reminder. As the CEO of your world, embrace every challenge with confidence from nailing your eyeliner to acing your next project and watch yourself level up. Okay, okay. And then inside it is your fall glam guide. So the three makeup trends you're about to see everywhere, glazed donut skin. Girl, I've been, I've been rocking glazed donut skin since junior high. Thank you, oily skin. Uh, there is also a new smoky high. Smoky eye, not smoky high. Uh, it says wearable earth tones and a hint of metallic sheen give this classic eyeshadow look a modern lived in twist. And then also monochromatic draping. So it says, give your go-to blush another life by sweeping over your cheekbones and lids for easy yet impactful makeup. Interesting. Mm, kind of like my eye look today, not gonna lie. We'll see if I ever get around to trying any of those hacks, but moving on, let's go ahead and look at our first product, which it is a product that they chose for me. It is Complex Culture, which this is the brand Ipsy made. So it's kind of a treat um, or Maybe you don't feel that way. Either way, I'm just gonna see what kind of lipstick this is. It is in the shade Legend. So we'll go ahead and open this up and give this a swatch here in just a minute. I will say it is a fun design. Uh, and, oh, it is a very kind of berry, showing up a little bit more reddish on my camera, it looks like, but it is very berry, which is perfect for fall. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that pretty kind of very reddish color. It is very seasonally appropriate and I did wear lipstick today. I don't really know why I wore lipstick today. It is still, we're, we're in the middle of the heat wave again. We had like a week of like fall temperatures where it only got up to like 85, which is really sad to say. Um, but now we're back in 95 to 100, so never fear. Uh, moving on, this is my next product, which is literally, <laughs> Falling out of the box, it got a little beat up, but it is from the Lifestyle Company. And again, that is Lifestyle with a Y. I believe we got another product from them. Was it Last Box? Maybe it was another, maybe it was Fat Fit Fun. I don't remember. Anyways, this is the Radiant Glow Botanical Oil Cleanser that brightens and nourishes. I do wanna go ahead and give this a little bit of a sniff. I have been trying to stock up on my cleansers lately. A little bit a little bit of a citrusy scent. Curious what that's about. Does it say why it's citrusy scented? It has soybean oil, it has grapeseed oil, it has olive oil, it has jojoba, jojoba? I feel like it's jojoba, but it's spelled jojoba, seed oil. It has rosehip as extract, aloe. It does have citrus, that's what I'm smelling. Okay, it was, it was down there, but Anyways, it's an oil cleanser. So if I'm understanding this correctly, you use this to get your makeup off and then you follow up with a normal cleanser, um, which I feel like I would have to because with so much oil on this, I don't need to start like a, a war in the Middle East with how much oil. Well, I guess a war on my face. Like it was a Middle East joke. You know what? That was a cheap joke. I apologize. Anyways, a very, very oily cleanser. And we'll give that a try and see how that works out. Um, next, it's, it's in a weird box. Um, maybe it's a box inside of a box, but this is another product that Ipsy chose for me this month. It is the Natasha Denona Cupid Chic Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So that is a very vibrant blush, but the highlighter looks on brand for me. Um, let's see how these swatch. Maybe the blush isn't quite that... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Bold, bold in real life. And it is a cream blush. Okay, honestly, like it's a little bit darker than the blush I'm wearing today, not that you can really tell, but 
I'll try it. I'll give it a try. That's what this is about, trying new things. We'll see how I like it for the next month, whether or not I will wear it more than once. Um, that'll be a real, the real test. If I hate it so much that I refuse to wear it again, then you know it's bad. Um, mostly because I'm also just not huge in the blush. Maybe I'll try that monochromatic blush look that they're talking about where you use the blush for your cheeks and for your eyes. I'm trying to open up the next product, but it was wrapped in bubble wrap. It is the Clarity Brighten It 10% Lactic Acid Solution. So I'm going to treat this like a serum, but it says it gently exfoliates and brightens skin unless the directions say otherwise. Oh, you got to be careful about the sun in this one. It says apply sparingly to clean skin with a cotton ball twice weekly in the evening. Oh, I'm not going to treat this like a serum because I put on serum every day. It's a good thing I read this. Uh, a slight tingling sensation is to be expected after application. Oh, okay. I'll try this out. It scares me a little bit now, but I'll try it out. Uh, and then I think we're moving on to our last product, which is the hair oil and CBD treatment and styling oil. So this is what it looks like. I think the brand is Use Me Hair. Um, so it says it instantly absorbs rich nutrients to protect and nourish the hair from within. Heat protection, fight frizz, add shine, restore elasticity, and improve hair texture. So yeah, it's just, we'll try it with my hair, see how it goes. I really need to get back, ugh, need to get back into the salon again because my balayage is just growing out a little bit too long and now I need to refresh in it for the fall. Anyways, if you watch my videos, you know, after I review this month's Ipsy, then I talk about the products I got in my last month's Ipsy. And now that I've had a chance to try them out, what my real thoughts are. So we'll go ahead and start with the cleanser I got last month. It is the Dew of the Gods Frosé Cleanser, the Royal Face Wash. Um, so I use this as my morning cleanser. So in the morning I do a gentle cleanser and then at night I do a more astringent cleanser um, to really just fight all those oils, especially since I do a multi-step uh, skincare uh, system at night where I'm then applying on serums and creams and face masks and whatnot. So anyways, I like this as a gentle morning cleanser. Honest, if, would I buy this again? And maybe it was really cheap. I didn't hate it. It did. It got the job done. It was gentle. I'll give it that. It smelled nice. Anyways, moving on. Uh, well, you know what? There's some one other thing I should mention. So, uh, I got at some point a bunch of Tula products, um, the probiotic face washes, and I left them at my parents' house in Michigan because I'm flying there a lot over the course of the next several months for wedding things, and. I went home recently and I used those and all of the blemishes, I was breaking out bad and all of the blemishes I had were like instantly, not instantly, but very quickly just gone. Um, and then I went back home and I went back to using this bad boy and then a different face wash and different products that were not Tula and my blemishes are coming back and I maybe it's Texas, I hate to say this, but I really think the Tula products are making a big difference on my skin. So I might need to uh, commit to Tula and like purchase some to keep at home because they were so nice on my skin. Like, I don't know what it is, but it, even when I did break out, like it was just so much, the acne just wasn't as apparent, if that makes sense. So not a bad cleanser, just might not be the cleanser for my skin. But we'll go ahead and move on to the mascara. It is the Bite Mascara, which if I remember correctly, I think it said it was sweat proof and I'm trying to remember, it doesn't say it on here. So I did wear this many times um, and I actually wore it to a wedding that I went to and it got real hot and it is not sweat proof. Um, now with that being said, um, there wasn't as much that kind of like became apparent on my lower or my, uh, they're not eyelids, what are your, my under eye area. That's what I'm trying to say. Cause that's usually what I see with non waterproof mascaras. It wasn't the worst, but it's still, did it. However, this is very great for volume. So I like it, but I will probably in the future stick to more waterproof mascaras. Um, next is the Laura Jones Whole Plant Formula CBD Lip Balm. So this is just a CBD infused lip balm. I ain't mad about it, but not my favorite lip balm. Not the worst lip balm. It, it moisturized my lips, but there wasn't anything. It made me feel a little bougie but that's about it. So we'll move on. 
Next is the Sheena B Miami. It was a cream blush in the shade Bellini, and I am actually wearing it today. I think I've actually worn it in all of my videos in the last month. I liked it. Um, it's very subtle. Um, I feel like it's very great for a summer type of look because, you know, you're already kind of, well, I put on bronzer this time of year to help even out all my tan lines because um, <laughs> my skin is a mess as far as uh, different shades go. And yes, I have been using gradual tanner and, oh, look, Neapolitan ice cream. Anyways, back to the subject. I liked it. I think I might like cream blushes more than powder blushes. So I'll be... I'm very interested in trying the Natasha Denona blush that we got in this month's Ipsy. And then last but not least, we have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 40. And they weren't kidding. This is like, it is clear. It is very hard to tell exactly where on your face it got it. And if I remember correctly, under the directions, it just says apply generously. And that's probably because you can't tell exactly where you're putting it on your face, especially if you've already moisturized in the morning. Um, I like it. I like that it doesn't leave a white cast. I did not get sunburnt while wearing it. So that's also, you know, it worked. I'll give it that. Other than that, yeah, not a bad product. Anyways, if you've made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to support me and my channel, please consider doing all the things that make the view YouTube algorithm are likely to suggest my video to other people, such as liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and turning on that notification bell. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. Roxy's distracting me. She thinks it's BarkBox Day. It's not BarkBox Day. Um, stay safe out there. Happy fall, guys.